Welcome to Jesse at Home. I am super excited about today's video. We are adding a fireplace in this weird wall in my living room. It's been a long time coming. As soon as I walked into this house, I said that wall needs a fireplace. And today is finally the day. If you're new here, I'm just kind of showing you a little bit of the evolution of this living room. It's really come a long way since we bought this house in April of 2020. We recently this year ripped up the carpets and laid new hard flooring throughout the entire main level of the house and I am so ready to rip out this faux fireplace that I installed last year just so I could hang my stockings for Christmas so I'm super excited to uh, install this new fireplace so I can hang my stockings by it for this Christmas I am so thankful my husband is a licensed gas fitter because he can do all of this by himself. This is truly a DIY. Um, he's checking for leaks right now and um, this you spray this little stuff on where the gas lines are connected and if it has bubbles it means there's some leaks and luckily there was no leaks. Um, and you're just gonna do a little test fire on this little bad boy. This thing is very tiny. We got made fun of from our friends about how small the firebox was, but um, where we wanted to install it, there is a stud wall that we could not move. So we were kind of constrained on how big of a fireplace we could install, but this one puts out enough heat to um, cover 1300 square feet, which is pretty much our main living area. So we are going to be very warm and toasty this year. We were putting up dirt rock to put behind the brick that we're going to be installing. So we had to get rid of a little bit more of the drywall and my daughter wanted to try, but she was kind of scared um, to hit as hard as she could. But uh, no worries, my husband's going to take care of it. We had to switch off um, taking care of our newest addition to the family, Malcolm. So we did a lot of this at night and, um, you know, during the day when we worked, I would watch him or you know, spend time with Malcolm while my husband worked and then vice versa. So in the beginning, it's a lot of just my husband while I'm taking care of the baby. And then we switch off because I'm a little bit more patient to do the brick and um, mortar uh, section of the DIY. So this is the brick that we're using. It is Providence, Providence Series Thin Brick um, by General Shale and it's in the color carbon. Um, the color carbon. And I have some of it laid out. Um, everyone asks me what I do with my top sheets because I never use a top sheet on my bed. They make great drop cloths. So I just laid out a couple courses of the brick just to kind of see the color variation. I love how old and like reclaimed they look. I like that look a lot. Um, and I think it's gonna look really nice. I'm really excited. My dad is coming over to help. He used to be a um, bricklayer in another life <laughs> a long time ago. Um, and he did it for 20 something years. Um, so he's gonna come over and help me um, figure out a game plan and cut them and make sure I do it all right. I was so thankful my dad came over to share his expertise with me. He had a good time like hanging out with us and just really just sharing his knowledge and telling stories and um, just adding some of his like artistic flair. My dad really is talented with um, doing brickwork. He did a big huge fireplace in one of my homes growing up and on the opposite side like outside was a um, barbecue, brick barbecue and it was really beautiful and he's done like paver work and just like a ton of really really gorgeous brickwork. It really is a 
talent type of thing. Like um, he suggested doing the little soldiers, what I'm doing right now at the um, bottom of the firebox. And then we're gonna add some at the top of the firebox. And then we're doing a row at the very top. And it's just kind of my favorite part of the entire fire uh, fireplace. I was just gonna do a regular brick pattern, but you know, just adding a couple things here and there, just really make it stand out and give it a custom look. So to add the, the pavers, they're thin bricks, the pavers to the dirt rock, we are just using some Gorilla Glue. Um, you could use mortar, but I thought this was a, a tad less messy. Um, little did I know when I went to actually grout the whole thing, it was just a big, huge mess. So um, at first I grabbed the wrong type of adhesive and it, they just would not stick. So my husband ran over to our local little hardware store and they suggested the Gorilla Glue and that, they came in clutch right here because this stuff was amazing and saved us a ton of time. It took us the most time to, to get to this point but then when we switched over to the gorilla glue it just flew by because the gorilla glue only needed about 30 seconds to kind of set and hold where before the other ones were just um kind of uh, getting all droopy and falling off and just it just was we were having a very hard time with the glue that i had chosen so super thankful that they suggested the gorilla glue I had done a little bit of research on my own. I originally wanted to do a German schmear look. Um, so I got some white uh, mortar and when I mixed it, it wasn't like white, but don't worry, it does dry white in the end. Um, 
And I originally was going to use a grout bag because everyone says, oh, use a grout bag. It's so easy to get in between the joints of the thin brick. And I don't know, the grout bag I tried was actually just awful. The best way I could do it was by smearing it in with my hands and then using the joint tool that my dad had left for me to use. Um, and then you take a uh, masonry brush, brush and then you kind of brush the bricks off. And I really love the way that it turned out. But let me tell you, it was really long really hard really tedious um but when i went back later because i had a couple little gaps that i had to fill in here and there and i mixed a little bit of mortar up um later on and i just i literally used a baker's plastic um icing bag and i put the mortar in that and then i piped it in and i was like oh i should have used this bag this would have saved me a lot of time a lot of heartache a lot of backache um but you know everything you know is knowledge for next time um next time i use this brick i'll know that i can just go to my baking aisle and get some um some actual icing bags
this really was tedious and it took me all day long my husband was on malcolm duty and i just focused on getting this done and my back hurt my feet hurt my hands were hurting um this was like such a heart like just it it took a lot longer than I thought. I've done grouting, I've done tile, I've done all kinds of DIYs, but this was the hardest, but I want to say I'm the most rewarding <laughs> DIY that I've ever done. Once I worked all day long, it was time to clean up the mess. I could not believe how messy it was in there. It was mostly just basically sand from the mortar, but I got the shop back, I got the broom, I cleaned it all up. Um, I don't show me cleaning up the entire area just because there is just so much going on um, in this video that even though this would have been a satisfying cleaning, this video isn't about cleaning, it's about the DIY, but I had to share with you the real life mess of do it yourself. As you can also see, it did dry white and it did have it does have that sort of German schmear look to it. Um, and I'm showing you the little HDMI cable um, organizer. I don't know if that's the right man cable management. Um, we fish the wires through a, um, actually it's like a tube, a channel in the wall. Um, so they're not just free floating back there, but um, we rooted them to the little cabinet beside there. That way there's not a bunch of wires hanging everywhere. Um, we did three of the HDMIs and now we're getting ready to drill into our beautiful brick which makes me so sad but we did a lot of planning um, we knew where the studs were for the TV and then also the studs where the mantle is going so um, you know thankful my husband really thought about things when he was building that stud wall so we're going to be doing a floating faux beam and this is the base of the fo floating faux beam you just attach this to the wall and then um, you miter 45 on three of your long boards and then 45s on your end boards and then you glue them all together and you staple them all together and you sand them all down and then it kind of looks like a one solid um, beam. 
so that's what we are doing i i just followed a video that i found on youtube i'm going to share that video so this is not my idea this is not my you know i'm this is not the most original idea that i've had but um i think it it turns out really really nice Like a cargo, you will carry me. I just hope you know. I wanted to add some shiplap on this side of the wall just to kind of mimic the white that was on the other side of the wall with the built-in bookcase um we couldn't obviously build a bookcase right here because the powder room is on the other side of the wall so i figured shiplap gives it some interest it's also white so it kind of matches the vibe we got going on the other end of the room so um i'm just really happy with all of the details and how everything really turned out Now the fun part of redecorating my little built-ins. I'm not going too crazy in here just because, um, you know, it's getting ready to change for the seasons anyway, but I just wanted to add a little bit of decor. I moved some things around as well just because I was trying to figure out what I wanted in here. These shelves are actually really hard for me because they're really deep and they're really tall. Um, and so I really need to either get like a picture or something to lay back on that second shelf. Um, but I wanted to give a quick vacuum and then, um, you know, do a little tidy up in here and then do some befores and afters because I am just absolutely in love and with the focal point, this beautiful fireplace that we installed ourselves. I'm so, so proud of it. I just think it looks absolutely gorgeous and really adds to the whole cozy coastal vibe that I have going on in this room. Thank you so much for choosing my video today. Hopefully it gave you some inspiration. Definitely hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my uploads. I have some fun surprises coming for you in November. Remember it is the season of giving coming up very, very soon. So you won't want to miss out on some of my upcoming videos. Um, thank you so much for watching as always. Don't forget to share my video with your friends. It really does help out my channel um, and I will see you next week.